Good afternoon, I'm in sunny Argyll in Scotland. Yes, I'm on the west again because west is best and the weather is amazing. So I'm gonna squeeze in a cheeky overnight bikepacking trip. Got really good route planned, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on the bike, get the show on the road because it's getting on a bit, it's four o'clock and I'll uh, give a brief outline of what I intend to do over the next 24 hours once I get going. Okay, we're on our way. Let's have a little uh, chat about the route I'm gonna take over the next 24 hours because it, it looks an absolute cracker. Located in Argyll and Butte, Loch Orr is the longest freshwater loch in Scotland, measuring 41 kilometers from end to end. Starting on the outskirts of Dalmale, my plan was to circumnavigate the entire loch, utilizing gravel tracks and minor roads wherever possible. Instead of camping, I would take a detour up from the loch and head on to the open moorland for an overnight stay in Carran Botha. With rocky shores, uninhabited islands and ruined castles, Loch Orr would be the ideal location for a 24-hour bikepacking adventure. So I've been going for about 75 minutes, covered about 25k, so it's been good progress. There's just a short gravel section at the beginning, then I've been on this lovely country lane for a while now, just undulating up and down, really lovely cycling, quite quiet. So I'm gonna come off this to climb up towards the Bothy soon. However, just on the right down here, about a kilometre away is uh, Inch Connell Castle. So that might be a good opportunity to check that out. We'll have a pit stop there grab something to eat before the climb up towards uh, the Bothy. Okay, so that's where we get down to the coast, so let's check this out. Inch Connell Castle, what a stunning location. Just met a couple who were just paddle boarding over and wild camping. That's something I mentioned to Al at work this week that I fancy doing. Apparently, it's really popular, and they were saying it's fantastic for sunsets and that. I mean, there's lots of activity here. There's just a boat whizzing by. This is definitely a place I'm going to be coming back to. It's absolutely stunning. Definitely worth a paddle over. Definitely. Back on track. That was a, a nice stop there. Just check that castle out, definitely one to consider in the future. So just making my way back on the road. I think we're about 4K on this tarmac and then there's a big climb up. It's gonna be on gravel. I think we ascend and then, if I'm not mistaken, it's a drop down and that's where the, uh, the Bothy is. So lovely part of Scotland to cycle this. Great route so far. Anyway, let's push on, let's get going. Wow, just when I was thinking, wow, what a lovely trail that I've been riding along. Oh, that section was horrendous, slipping, sliding, I fell off, banged my knee, everything. Anyway, <laughs> according to my map, I'm actually at the Bothy and I can't see it. Um, well, what I can see is this, hmm. I'm assuming that's not it. Well, let's not hope so. It must be a bit further along. I know it like hugs the river, 
So I'll just push on for a little bit and we'll hopefully, it should be here because according to my map, it says we've passed it. Okay, let, let's see. This isn't right. It just doesn't feel right, this. I think I've missed it. I think I've gone past it. it must be well hidden. Uh, it must be, it must be back down there, maybe behind those trees. There is some, there is some like wind turbines there. I didn't see a path though. Goodness me, this is turning into a bit of an epic. All right, well, I'll, I'll turn around and we'll go back down. Finally, when you were coming back down the other way, it was pretty obvious where it was. You could just see the chimney, the, the sort of like the ruin bit sort of like through me. But yeah, what a beautiful place. I can see some people over there down near uh, the river. I think we've got other people in here, which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping I'd have it to myself tonight because uh, I know it's only a small bothy. But anyway, let's go in and let's just see what the crack is. some other people here oh well never mind um it is what it is oh there's wood as well but yeah what a lovely little buffet progress cool like um track have been going along these these concrete slabs really really good razzed it along but this is about the third gate that i've had that's padlocked up it's bizarre i don't know what the hell's going on and it's a nightmare bundling the bike over the gate anyway i guess it is what it is <laughs> Five now just heading back to Dalmale got about 16k to go super day super day So 
So that's me done. A lap of a uh, locker in the bag. Really, really, really good loop. Really enjoyed it. I mean, first of all, it's great to be back on the bike in the sun doing a bike packing adventure, but yeah, that lived up to what I expected it to be. A really, really good loop. Good combination of minor country lanes that were really flowing and some wide gravel. So it was no problem at all. I mean, the, the worst section was the bit before and after the Bothy where it was like really boggy and rocky, quite technical. But of course, if you're just doing a loop around the lock, you wouldn't uh, go up there on the top. I just did it because I wanted to stay over and I've been um, wanting to spend the night in that Bothy for, for quite a while. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how far that would be in a one and maybe 100K, 110K, I don't know. I'll pop it up on the screen. I'll work it out when I get back. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a doer for, for um, a one day of that, a really good long adventure. There's a nice cafe three quarters of the way around, what's good. I guess the only downer is, is that there was about four or five gates that were padlocked shut and I had to hump my bike over. And obviously with all my bike packing gear, it was pretty tough going doing that just with the bike itself and a, just a day pack, it won't be really an issue. And, and the final thing is, is there's about 14K section on the A85. I try and avoid cycling on A roads wherever I can, but it was unavoidable. But to be fair, the, the traffic wasn't too bad and I was on it long and it did allow me to get a little bit of pace and get my average speed up. So yeah, if you're thinking of doing it, doing this loop, just bear those two things in mind, but definitely well worth the effort. So. There we go, there's the first backpacking adventure of 2024 in the bag. Um, got a few other things planned, hopefully I'll get time to do them and make a few more videos. Until then, see you later.